Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on a Dime, and today I've got another really cool wine. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the 2013 Frederico Paternina Grand Reserva from Rioja. I know I did another Rioja earlier, uh, but that was a Reserva, and this is a Grand Reserva. So that means it's like twice the Reserva. Not really, but it, it's still gonna be fun, and I found it for a really good price. So uh, let's take a look at this wine. So for all you cork dorks out there, there it is. Not much leakage on the side, but it's still pretty dark. All right, from a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a medium garnet. No artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of, uh, getting a little bit of black cherry. I'm getting a slight touch of raspberry. Uh, that black cherry is actually kind of started to dry a little bit. It's like a, a dried cherry. There's a touch of fig in here. There's, there's also a much, stronger tobacco note on this one than the other Reserva I did. So the tobacco is more dominant here and there's like a leathery smell, kind of like cowboy boot leather, but um, it it's much weaker compared to the sweet tobacco note. The sweet tobacco note is pretty, pretty strong here. I'm getting a little bit of baking spices as well. And I'm also getting like a touch of black pepper and the alcohol, I forgot to do this in the beginning, the nose is medium plus intensity, the alcohol is medium. Yeah, anyway, how does it taste? All right, so it's got a medium body, medium plus tannins. They're starting to go, you can tell the tans are starting to soften. There is an actual somewhat soft quality to, to parts of this wine, but it still has a little bit of that tannic grit, so it still has a little ways to go. Um, but those development notes that I'm getting between some of those fresh fruit elements and that tertiary that's developing is really nice. There is a lot of sweet tobacco in this, um, but there's also like a hint of what I didn't smell here, but it's hitting on the retro nasal from it and I can get it on the palate. There's also just a very slight vanilla note on this wine. The finish is a medium plus finish. Um, alcohol taste medium, it's dry. Let's get to the blade. So from a balance standpoint, full point. Length, medium plus finish, 0.75. Intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so 0.75. And in terms of complexity, full point. I'm getting everything I was hoping for in a Grand Reserva in this wine. I'm, I'm happy about it. So in the end, this is a very good wine. Um, will it get to great though? Does it still have the other potential that the other Rioja I reviewed earlier this week does? Well, let me think about that. So it needs more length that could develop over time as the wine continues to soften a little bit, continue to develop some tertiary that could happen. The intensity, I don't know if that intensity will continue to develop in that manner unless on the nose that and on the palate that that tertiary really like pops out. So, but like I said, in order for a wine to be great on my score, you pretty much have to have a full score. So, I mean, you're really close to being great and there's potential you could be in another few years. I'm not disappointed in it at all, drinking it right now. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2013 Federico Paternina Gran Reserva from Rioja, Spain? I'd be interested to know if you have. Really, I would be interested because I think this wine is pretty, pretty darn good. Leave a comment below if you have or if you're interested in trying it, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime. Dude, I'm... It's, it's glass time, man. It is glass time. It's time to edit, but... I'm gonna take my time with this bad boy. Whew. That's good.